Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can import charting data into your Python terminal. So suppose you have some Skinner and it will screen through your watch list or maybe in cash market or future market and give you a list of stocks. Now that particular list of stocks you want in Python. So how we can do that? We'll see in this video. So the benefit is suppose you have a list of scanner suppose let's say 10 number of scanner and it will give you 10 sets of stocks now you want to compare them that kind of comparison is not possible in charting though there is an option in dashboard here you can run multiple scan at the same time but you cannot compare so python is very flexible here you can do any kind of comparison with the stocks whether one stock is common to all the skinners or not that kind of compilations or comparison you can do easily and python is really flexible and you can extend this project to any level so that's why I'm, I'm, i choose python to show you how we can import charting data into your python terminal now at the very beginning we need a scanner so here I am not going to create any scanner. I already made a scanner in the last video. So I am going to use that. This is Hilega Milega. So let me click on edit. This is the stock. Let me run the scan and it will give you some stock data. So here uh, no stocks filter. So let me change the filter to cash market. Then we will definitely get some stock. So here we are getting 10 stocks so our intention is to import this table data into our python terminal so how we can do that so i have to find out some api from charting so that we can fetch that particular api and we will get this table so let me inspect the page so i'll right click on the page and i'll click on inspect element now i will go to the network section so here is no API. So I have to refresh the page, then we will get some API. Now look at here process. So this is our API. Look at here the request URL is https charting.com slash screener slash process. So this is our API. So I am going to fetch this API to get this scan data. So how we can do that? Let me copy it. Let me copy it and let's go to Python terminal. Actually, I am using PyCharm. Uh, you can use any other terminal that doesn't matter. So here I am going to create a new file, Python file. Let me say charting. Now at the very beginning, we are going to import some module. So import request. The first module is request actually i am taking request to request data from url so i am taking url is equal to let me copy it from the website so this is our url and we are taking this url now look at here the request method is post that means we have to pass some query there will be some payload so payload is nothing but the skinner condition so i have to book a session in this case so with with request dot session as let me say s yes. now we are taking the data raw data raw data is equal to s dot get url and we will check the raw data so let me print raw data whether it's coming or not so let me go to the directory charting and python space charting so the response 200 that that means it's working now if i want to check the data then i have to use text method so it will actually display as a text now we can see so here is a deep tab that means it's an html document so to scrap html document we need beautiful soup 
now let me go to the website and we will check this is a post method so we have to pass some query here actually the condition is written here uh, if you just go to the payload then you will see the same condition written here so the, here is the latest RSI greater than latest WMA this is our condition so we can copy this condition and we have to pass it actually we have to post this condition uh, with this URL and we have to add some header so what will be the header let go to the bottom and look at here csrf token so i have to pass uh, i have to calculate the csrf token what is the csrf token if you copy this token and if you search in the element that means in html page so you will find it here that is the uh, under meta so under meta you will get csrf token so you have to find out all the metas and you have to check uh, which one is csrf token and then you have to take the content so that you will get this uh, as an header so let me go to the python file and actually to do this we need one extra module that is beautiful soup so from bs4 i am using bs4 you can use another also selenium also do the same job but uh, here i am using bs4 so if you don't have bs4 then you can install it here by using pip command pip install bs4 and hit enter it will uh, install in my case it already satisfied that's why nothing happened so bs4 import beautiful soap as bs so here we are taking an instance soup is equal to let me take bs and we'll pass this data r dot data so r r underscore data content and we'll uh, specify the format it may be HTML or X, uh, LXML, LXML. And let me print whether it's working or not. So let's run the file. Now it's working. It's giving you the HTML code. So here we have to find the meta. The meta tag we have to find. So let me copy this meta and we will search it in the soup so let me take meta is equal to soup dot find actually we are first actually we will find all all metas i mean if it is available uh, then it will show so let me print meta and it will give you a list of metas so look at here meta content but we are uh, actually we want uh, this one name is equal to csrf token so i have to pass this variable to filter so let me copy it and we will pass it as a json so so now it's fine now we can uh, delete this one also actually we are going to find uh, meta uh, with C name is equal to csrf token so let me print this so here it is so i am getting the right one csrf token but we actually want the content so let me copy the content and we will place it here with under quote now it will actually print this data so let's run look at here we are getting the csrf token now this token we have to pass it as an header when we are going to use post method now let me delete it and let me create an header header is equal to uh, let me copy the let's go to the network and we'll copy this one 
and we will paste it here and we will pass meta so this is our header now we will request uh, this url with post method so let me take a variable data is equal to now we are taking the session as s so s dot post and we will pass the url url and we will pass header headers equal to header and also we have to pass the query so let me go to the page uh, look at the payload the payload uh, consisting of the condition i mean wh which condition you are looking for i mean what is the skinner condition that is uh, into the payload this is also a, as a json we have to take so let me copy this one and uh, let me create a condition here condition is equal to now we have to take this one as an json file so we have to use under code so this one uh, look like a json file json object now look at here you can check this one represent the future i mean let's go to the uh, screener this is a future so this one represent the future and here is a rsi 9 uh, cross above wma of rsi 9 so look at here rsi 9 greater than wma of rsi 21 so it's our condition now we have to pass data is equal to condition now let me print data let's look for the data whether it's giving you some correct or not now again the response 200 that means we are getting something so this is mainly a json file so json and let's check yeah we are getting some data but it's null so So let me check our actually we are getting no stock that's why it's giving you null but uh, if we just uh, extend the filter to cash market and run it again then we are getting 10 stock. So now here I am going to use cash market so I have to change the payload so let me take cache so it will search on the cache market now let me save this file and we will run look at here the there are some stocks uh, into the list so now here you can see this is a json file now what are the json keys so let me search Now here we can see draw record total, uh, record filter and data. So under data, all stocks are there. So we will look for the data. So let me cut this one. And under, let me copy this. Or simply we can write data. Now let me copy, let me compile this file. And we will get the stock list. Look at here the stock list first one you can see and the stock now we can arrange by price now look at here the stock name and the stock name here is the same now for better uh, i mean visualization we can take this as a pandas data frame so let me take pd dot data frame and we'll store as stock list is equal to and we'll print stock list now let's run this file and it will give you a list of stocks now let me take this website here we can actually compare 
the stocks whether they are equal or not look at here here we have 10 stock here also we have 10 stock look at the last one bank of maharashtra bank of maharashtra mother samsami and everything is the same as charting so we can import the skinner data into our python terminal now the question is whether we can import the backtest result into your python terminal or not look at here the backtest result we can easily import i mean we can backtest from here if we click here then it will give you the stocks uh, for a particular day now the same process will apply to get the backtest result look at here the second url second process just go to the header and we will we will get https charting.com slash backtest slash process so there is slightly uh, if you change the api or url then you will get the backtest result and this page also contained xcsrf token so nothing i mean special here and the payload is same as before so we have to just change our uh, url then we will get the result for backtest data so i hope you can manage if you want a backtest result then you can just replace the url and you also have to understand the api format i mean the data format and you have to use the json key to extract the stock name so in this way we can actually import any kind of scanner uh, into your python terminal from charting now if you have multiple skinner and you want to uh, get all these things into one data frame then also you have to pass uh, you have to just copy this line you have to pass the various conditions one by one and you will get another data set and you have to merge it according to your logic so that's all for today hope you like it if you like my video please be with me and please subscribe my channel thank you thanks for watching me